yo folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing with Orb YouTube channel. I just want to say thanks to Orca Coolers for sponsoring this portion of this video. They come with a lifetime warranty on hard sided coolers. So I don't know if you guys have ever been in the kitchen and accidentally had your buddy knock your cooler off your tree house like this. Wow. <laughs> or if you're ever on a hike with your friends and they accidentally bump your cooler up against a tree like this. It took the tree down. Where did I, oh, there's a river here. I didn't know I was there. Oops. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Dude, it chopped the tree in half. See if it's still good. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it back. Oh, <laughs> it's still good. <laughs> <laughs> Fell in a river. Ice is still good. That's genuinely impressive. <laughs> I'll throw out a tree again just for good measure. You ready? Or have you ever been on your way to your grandma's house and your friends accidentally leave your cooler on top of your car? I didn't mean to do that. Oh. <laughs> wow. It's still good. Orca Coolers also has industry leading ice retention. And to prove it, we're going to drop it into a volcano. Oh, it's a volcano, it's so hot. There's no way there could still be ice in the cooler. Oh, let's see. Oh my gosh. It hasn't even melted. Wow. That's industry leading ice retention. Oh. And unlike any other cooler I've ever seen, it comes with additional storage on the side. So whenever you need to store your cell phone or your wieners, you can open it up, Velcros, keep all your goods <laughs> nice and secure. It is also made in the US of A, just like me. And what's crazy is this Orca cooler can support my 240 pounds and it's bear proof. So just for this ad to show you guys, it can handle a bear attack. We've rented a bear for the day. Let me go get him real quick. Oh no, a bear's on the cooler. Try to get in, bear. Roar. Our bear has been distracted by the leaves. Come here, buddy. You have to pretend like you're attacking it. Or he's eating a leaf. <laughs> Roar! Oh my gosh, a bear is attacking the cooler. He doesn't know how to get in. He's astounded at how secure the Orca cooler is. He's a bear and it's bear proof. The walk of defeat after a bear can't break into a Orca cooler. I'm sweating. Don't worry, the ice retention. Ice is still good as brand is new after being in a volcano. Come here, Mikey. Thanks for your acting. He just wants to eat leaves. That's all he wants to do. Thanks to Orca Coolers for sponsoring that part of my video. Now back to my regular content. Roar. All right, Mikey, let's go inside. Net, 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 net. Net, 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 net. Oh, oh God, I'm a giant, giant lion. It's a unit, Ryan! <laughs> hey yo folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing and Norm YouTube channel. Comment down, comment down below. Let's go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell. Leave a comment down below. Let's for your chance to be next to us. Comment out that day. <laughs> Today is our last day, the final showdown here in Texas. I know you guys have probably seen the videos on my channel and also on Lojo's channel for what this place. Link. Pioneer Lake, it's absolutely amazing. So we just wanna say thank you to everybody who's had us out here. Thank it has been absolutely amazing. But we have the last four hours of the day shaping up. And yeah. the last last evening, me and you had one hour and caught a 36 pound bag. If you guys Burger haven't go. seen this video, I'll leave it linked like at the end of the video. But today's video is going to be a first ever on fishing first YouTube. Ever. Never been done. This is a first video that's actually two videos. Oh. In one, but it's in two. So let me explain. It's like magic. <laughs> It's, one equals two? It's like this where you go. Tell me how, Norm. How's he doing it? How's he, how's he doing it? <laughs> <laughs> anyways. Not too bad at that, actually. Yeah. That wasn't deep. That wasn't bad right there. <laughs> so anyways, me and Loja, normally when we do these challenges, I've been reading a ton of the comments, and you guys say, it's not fair when we do like budget challenges. Somebody gets 50 bucks, somebody Somebody's gets 200, somebody gets 1,000. Like, it's never a fair fight. You guys have suggested, why don't we do a fishing challenge where we can use anything we want. There's no restrictions. It's a fair level playing field. Actually try to beat yeah. each other. 
Yes. And no better yeah. place to do it than probably one of the best lakes in Texas. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have my perspective on this video. It's just me. You're gonna be on your own channel filming your own video on my other against boats. me. Yes. yes. On another boat, but we're facing the same tournament. Exactly. Yes. The same yes. tournament. So we're gonna do that. At the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you guys my final weight. But you're gonna have to get a Lojo's video to figure out his final <laughs> weight. So that's why that's it's right. like two videos in one, because you have to watch both to figure out who won. And we're not gonna know who won either until nope. the videos go out, because we're not talking about it at all we have all the lures we want man you've yeah. already we rigged up all of our own stuff so the knots are ones we've done there's yeah. like no excuse you know somehow mm -hmm. we'll pick up a combo we'll make a cast and we'll break off and we'll blame somebody or it's like yeah. a weird combo or a weird lure you know there's no that. excuses and this is what i think people want to do <laughs> exactly. is to see us evenly fish off in like a tournament situation yeah like i said it's the last night that we figured no better thing to do than just go out there and try to catch the biggest mm -hmm. bag we possibly could out here all the lures we want to throw and uh you know a little challenge is always kind of fun i'm so. getting nervous i want to beat you and I know you want to be. I want to beat you pretty bad too. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm taking this super night. serious. Yeah. And guys, let us know down below if you like this format of videos. We're just trying something new. Uh, obviously, we're gonna keep doing challenges, but if you like this kind of format too, yeah. let us know if you kind of like the multi-channel filming at the same time. I'm nervous. I'm excited. I think I've said everything I need to say. We went over the rules. Top mm. five bass before sun goes down. Yep. Biggest bag wins this bag, girl. We will see you guys on the water. All right, North. Okay. All right, guys, me and Ryan are out here, man. Let's go. You're on the winning boat, dude. Guys, what I think is going to be so cool about this, like, point of view, it's just like you're actually fishing a tournament because you don't know what's going on on the other boat. It's literally exactly. this camera angle. It's us. It's me and you guys, and we're going to try to win this bad girl. Dude, I'm going to be so competitive. I think we're going to just go all the way to that. See where that point is? Yeah. Go out there, and we'll kind of fish the uh, protected cove, and I'm actually going to just tie this clutch on to start but guys we have a clutch and i'll kind of show you some of the other rigs we got but i don't know i love tournament fishing more than anything i love the competition it just adds so much more i don't really know how to explain it it's just different fishing when you know that there's somebody out there trying to beat you at what you're doing that just makes it so much more intense I like I it, it's so much fun and me and lojo man neither of us want to lose this thing i want to demolish him i want it to be 40 pounds to zero well, we have arrived at the first spot. So we're gonna start at this point, kind of work our way around. And there's wood in the water, there's grass. I'm gonna start with the June bug, trench hog at a 316 sounds bloat weight, a 20 pound fluorocarbon, cause there's giants in here. And then a five aught hook. I like to go big, uh, especially when I know there's big bass. And I already see bait moving up here, which is a good sign. So Ryan, I know you work for Lojo. Mm -hmm. Do you think I'm a win? I do think you're gonna win. See, that's the thing about tournament fishing. It's it's a mental game too. So we might have to start hooting and hollering a little bit. You know, if we can get the first blood, start striking, he might get in his head a little bit. He might be like, dang it, you know? Yeah. So I but definitely... He was he was oh, he was. If you get Lojo in his head, he's either going to have an... He either has amazing days or awful days. He doesn't have an average fishing day. It's only really good or really bad. <sighs> well, guys, there's so much bait moving up on this point. And it goes from being only half a foot to where the boat's sitting at right now, about eight foot of water. So I'm just kind of bringing it down the slant and they are chasing bait up there. So we're just gonna kind of work our way to it. And I got bit, got one. Got him, there we go. Oh, oh dude, we have a net just in case. Oh, <laughs> big it already. Oh, Lojo, uh oh, uh oh. Third cast, baby. crazy we might even pull this fish out later today got a few hours i just want to get in lojo's head not a bad one though oh yeah <laughs> there we go dude that is a big hit. number one look at that off the rip they're eating it like that look at how far that trench hog is just gone oh my god dude threw it right past the brush they're just hanging out there man that is freaking cool that is cool man all right we got a scale guys we're weighing every single fish so we have an exact to the ounce, our biggest five. So guys, everything is in kilograms. So we're gonna have to do math on every single fish, which might be a little disadvantage, but. All right, locked in at 1.72 kilograms. So, oh! all right guys, here she is. 1.72 kilograms, we're gonna do the math on her. So we know, but uh, that's a good fish to start it with. We might even end up pulling this one out. I don't want this one to be a part of my top five, even though it's probably uh, like something like four pounds or so, but. Not a bad one, man. To start the day off, yeah, second cast, and I think we're already in Lojo's head. 
Yeah, he's stressing hard. <laughs> that is so funny. All right, here we go. Four pounder. There she goes. Oh, that feels good. Feels good every time you get a first fish of a tournament, even though it's just a little 1v1. But guys, let me know if you want to see me actually go enter some real tournaments. I did a nighttime derby and came in first place a couple weeks ago, but uh, it was so dark out, I couldn't post a video for you guys. But if you want to see me do some day tournaments, let me know. I genuinely love tournament fishing and just, you know, competing. Uh-oh. Is this Lojo? Lojo got a fish? You can't even see it. It must be small. Yeah. That's not good. You want to try to get us back up and closer again? Thank you. Lojo, do you have one? Oh, he's definitely got one, man. Oh, dang it. Oh, no. It kind of looks good. I'm trying to hide it, too. Oh, no. Yeah, he's trying to be sneaky over there. Oh, dude, they're schooling out there, too. Holy cow. Guys, I think Lojo's got a one-pounder. I can't, I can't really tell. It's so weird. It's going to be so weird not knowing what's going on. And we're, I really want to know at the end of this who wins, but we're not even going to be able to tell each other because we're going to have to wait for the videos to come out to even see. Dude, they are loaded in this cove, man. I think we've found a really good starting spot. So, guys, how I'm working this thing is I'm dragging it down the slope, but extremely slow. So, I'm dead sticking and letting it sit for about four or five seconds before I do my next twitches. And that seems to be the most realistic way to kind of work it. Yep. That's why I want to do this. I think this is just fun. Uh-oh. Lojo's talking a lot over there. Getting a little reckless and rowdy. Getting a little reckless and rowdy. Got one. Oh my gosh, he came off, I think. Oh, he was on that stick. Wow. It was a thousand percent a bite, too. He grabbed me and started running. That sucks, man. That felt huge. Lojo sounds happy over there. I don't like it. Not one bit. Just feel like these have been just peppered, man, like by everybody. What I'm fishing right now. Oh, there she, there she is. Got her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> About took the rod out of my hand, dude. Might be able to boat flip this one. Yep. There we go. That's not a bad second fish right there, baby. Look at that. If I was Lizzie, I'd be a little bit worried. He even, we kind of said the point is off limits until later today. Kind of started fishing it. So not saying he's a cheater, but fish number two. See how it goes. That one's definitely smaller. We need to get rid of this one later today, but we'll weigh it just in case because you never know. You want to weigh every fish in a tournament situation. All right, 1.22 kilograms. So maybe like a three pounder or so. Here's one look at her guys. There she is. Big old mouth, she's just skinny. But uh, let her go. See you girl. All right, so guys, we're rigging up another trench hog. We got one pack of June bug and we have another pack of Okeechobee craw. And this has been my favorite lure to throw out here so far. So hopefully we don't run out before the sun's down. But I'm feeling pretty good. Two fish so far. They're both pretty good ones, but I think both two that we need to get rid of, which might sound crazy, but I feel like 30 pounds could win this. So we might need to average six pounders. We got Z sticks. I mean, these are just houses for bass, especially the bigger clust clusters and the isolated ones. That's mainly what I end up targeting, but they'll, oh, thought I had one. We'll chase bait up in these things, bait hides in the trees, and they'll just come up and get a free meal. Dude, just looking out here, there's so much to cast at. It's kind of overwhelming. All right. Oh, yep. Get in the stick. Oh, she popped off, man. That is not good. Kind of felt good. Guys, there's this whole stick field here, and it gets like a couple foot shallower. And they push up and they just eat there. That's their eating zone. Dang. Can't believe I lost that. It's a good sign we're getting bit this much this early. I think more sun goes down, the better bite's gonna get. And I'm actually gonna retie. I got a little afraid there. <laughs> I'm actually taking this so serious, dude. <laughs> I'm not talking that much. I really wanna win this thing. I really do. That's why when I miss a fish like that, it kinda gets me frustrated because I should've caught him. But when you're playing, uh, fluorocarbon game in a stick field you know sometimes <laughs> you end up losing make sure we retire our knots do everything that way when the big one does bite we don't have any excuses for it getting off oh look at all the stuff i have to flip now that's pretty cool 
I did that yesterday, literally this close to the boat, eight pounder. Really? <laughs> yeah. And then did the next cast and caught a six pounder. Oh, wow. Yeah, they are feeding up in this. Ooh. Here's some mat. I don't want to make too much noise. I just got slammed right there. I literally said, dude, imagine. Like, imagine I get bit there. Got slammed. Yes, there we go. He came back for it. Might be a baby. First one off, cranky the point. Yes, it feels good to get one on his glass roll. I think he's really small, but you know, it's just getting that five is the first thing you got to do. Come on, baby. Watch would just be giant. I can't really tell. It's so hard to tell on the glass rod. You can never really feel them all too good. Oh, okay, it's not a bad one. It's not a bad one at all. Here she comes. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Dude, head first too. That is absolutely crazy. Stop moving. Stop it. Stop it. Dude, that's a fat one too. That one's going to help the weight. If these are just the starter fish, I can't wait to see what happens at the end. All right, 1.33 kilograms. Fish <laughs> number three. There we go. Here's a look at her, guys. Beautiful bass. She's actually been feeding up. And it seems like they're chasing bait over here, so I'm just going to be throwing this lipless, trying to get a lot of fish in before I kind of slow things down and try to catch that big in. Some good starter fish. We have some some hard fish to cool, I guess. Some probably some threes and some fours. I think 30 pounds is gonna win this thing in the 30s at least. Maybe 40 if we get lucky. Yeah. Oh, it's not a bad one. It's all right. It's number four. Water skier in, baby. Come on. Come here, baby. I'm so sideways in her mouth. She's just been on top of the water the whole fight. Is my GoPro dying as I'm reeling it in? Of it is. We have this camera though. Not a big one. Dude, you know what? I might be crazy. Break tournament rules. I'm not even going to weigh it. I'm not confident that we're going to get rid of this one. Well, guys, fish number four. We're not going to weigh her just because uh, I'm pretty positive we're going to cull her out. So I'm going to let her go because I kind of gut hooked her. She's bleeding a little bit. See you, girl. Nice, dude. Four fish. Not doing too bad. The sun's still pretty high up. We got a couple hours, man, to put this bag together. I heard Lojo say that he already has five, though, so I'm a little bit worried. But we do have two kind of sizable ones, but it's still anybody's game. <laughs> I'm catching a 10 pounder today. Calling it. Shark, we could team up, man. If you catch a big one, I could take a picture of it. Lojo would never know the difference, dude. <laughs> yeah, Coach Snark, I'll plug it, man. You give me an eight pounder, I'll plug whatever you want. We didn't say anything against team tournaments. No, we didn't. <laughs> big facts, big racks. Oh. Got him. Got him. We're pinned. We're tight. Be big, baby. Come on. Come on, girl. Doesn't feel too big, but you never know. Dude, this lipless is definitely a numbers getter. Oh, she spit it. Like a two pounder. It's all right. Well, when you lose fish guys in a tournament, you just got to shake it off. Pretend like it never happened. If you get too much in your head, start making more mistakes, it could go wrong. So four fish, not too bad. We don't weigh one. So technically we have three weighed fish. That one we technically could have weighed, but I think anything two, three pounds won't even be part of the bag. Maybe I'm just super confident, but I don't know. I just got high hopes for this. I really do. Ryan, I'm putting it together, man. I'm learning. When I'm throwing this lipless, I'm only getting bit when I'm reeling it super slow and I'm making bottom contact. Really? You're like bottom bouncing it? Yeah. I mean, I'm oh, counting to five before I start reeling. Oh, you're dragging it. And dragging it, yeah. They won't eat it if it's moving too quick. It's really weird. She got smoked. Love how much I know. Biggin, 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 biggin. Unless you just wrapped around some some logs. Oh yeah, no, this might be big, bro, for real. This might be big for real. Dude, oh, it's big. It's it, dude. It might be big for real. Can you get that uh, mega bass popper out of the net? She might be huge, dude. I can't really tell. It's so hard on the crankbait. 
you never really know, but she's fighting better. She's, is she small? I'm be so mad if she's small. Yeah, it's big. It's, it's ripping drag, dude. It's ripping drag. Is the net ready? I'm sweating so hard, guys. I just, <laughs> I want whatever this is. If this is a bass, it might be big. What is it? Or is it tail hooked? What is going on? Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna try to jump. Oh, big bass, big bass. Big bass, dude. Giant bass, giant bass, giant bass, Ryan. Oh my gosh, he's barely, come here, come here. Oh my, yes. Dude, that is a walker. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's number five. That's a good number five. Holy smokes. Dude, look at that thing. It's a mouth of a 10 pounder, but it's skinny. This thing would have weighed 10 pounds. That is a giant, bro. And I was just trying to throw this around to get numbers. That was my thing. I was trying to throw the uh, the clutch around just to get bites. You know, build up some confidence before uh, later today, slow down, throw a jig or a Texas rig. Oh, that is so helpful. That is huge. I'm shaking. <laughs> that is so cool. We did that right in front of Lojo too. So he's probably a little nervous. Lojo, you got one like this size? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we'll weigh this one. <laughs> wow, dude. Look at that. That is crazy, guys. Check this mouth out. Just giant. She's just a little skinny because it's summertime, but give her away, of course, once again in kilograms. <laughs> 2.42 kilograms. <laughs> oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen. And on a moving bait too, that is crazy. Giant mouth. She fought so hard. Uh-oh, Lojo's got one. Oh no. It looks good. I need to get back in the water and keep going. <sighs> Give her a little tail wag. You got it, girl. You were out of the water for five seconds. There she goes. Ryan, come on, man. Cameraman Ryan. Fish bump, dude. We're doing it, but Lojo's reeling in a giant right now. So this competition, dude, this is gonna be freaking tough and tight. This is gonna be a close one. Oh no. Get us back over there, Ryan. Let's get it, let's get back. I'm not gonna lie, it is kind of weird just fishing by yourself and you have to be serious so you can't make jokes with the other person. It is kind of a weird switch up in videos. I, f I can just feel the tension in the air that me and Lojo have. He looks so serious over there. Lojo, I feel like this might break our friendship, man. This is some serious stuff. This is men fighting over fish. This is literally our, we're fighting for our man cards. I uh, know, I feel like if I lose this, my life ends. Probably should set the hook on him a little bit better if you wanna win this thing. Oh yeah, those elusive rocks in the middle of the Texas lake. Timber rock, same thing. Yeah, we're just going where the wind takes us. You're moving towards us with the trolling motor. Yeah, the point we weren't supposed to fish. I was in the cove. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Dang. Dude, if you want to cheat your way to lose, I'm casting where you're casting, man. Use This is your channel. This is your video. I'm casting wherever your lure goes. All right, I was, we were gonna leave the side of the lake for the last half of the day, but you know, you came right on over here. Dude, I just honestly, it's not even worth my time to trash talk you because I have a fish on and you're weighing it like three and four pounders. I just popped him off, he was small. That one kind of hurt, honestly, a little bit. That kind of felt big. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> oh, now I'm the cheater. That's a fish hitting the bottom of the boat penalty. I'm pretty sure that's a pound deduction. Don't have to wait. Net, 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 net. Net, 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 Giant, giant, dude, giant. I know Lojo's catching two pounders, but we're actually putting a bag together over here. <sighs> Holy cow, he's going under the boat. Ryan, it's a giant, man. Net's breaking. I'm catching too many big fish, Lojo. Oh! Oh! First, he's saying, 
not a lot of fish here. The point's off limits. And then the next sentence he says, I'm stealing his spot and I'm fishing where he's fishing. So what's the real rules? Yeah, I know you can see it. It's pretty, it's, it's kind of hard to miss it. You know, when a fish is big, you can kind of see him pretty good. Oh yeah, set the hook on that one pounder. There you go. Dang, well, that's a good one, man. You're right, it's not gonna help our bag at all. Dude, that's a giant, bro. We're gonna be quiet. 1.66 kilograms. Here she is, I'm gonna let her go. <sighs> Another seven pounder, Ryan, let's go, man. <laughs> I can tell Lojo is like kind of just, he doesn't know what to think. He doesn't know if we have five pounds total or if we have 20. He has no idea. He's doing that laugh, like he's pretending like he's okay. You know what I mean? Like, yes. hee hee. <laughs> you know, like for trying to laugh it off, but he's actually nervous. I'm getting in his head. That's the thing about fishing tournaments, it's not only about the fishing, it's about the mind games. And Lojo is now just trolling right over the fish I caught. You know, I thought this guy was my friend. He's playing dirty. He's now fishing uh, further into the area we said we're not allowed to fish. So, you know, it's gonna be embarrassing when he cheats and he loses. You know, I, I'm actually kind of rooting for Lojo to win this thing because he is cheating. So he kind of should win if he's breaking all the rules. Dude, the funny thing is, I don't even want to throw this. Like this is not my fish catcher. It's gonna be a big Texas rig later on today. This is just for fun. This is just warm up. It's practice. So Lojo, are you going back up in there? Hey, Loja. He's not responding. All right, yeah, let's go. Let's go up in there. It's, it's a fight now, man. He's just full on cheating at this point. He's full blown. Oh, he's going right away. He... Hey, Loja. Yep, we're going. Come on, Ryan. All right, I see how we're playing. <laughs> what? You... you said I stole your spot, which, and then you said I'm cheating because I'm fishing that spot. Well, guys, first time we're making a lure switch up, putting down the old trusty clutch. It caught us. I think what? What are we at right now, Ryan? Like 34 pounds. Something like that. Time to pick up the old Texas dangle. You know, <laughs> you know what I always say, man. When you win in Texas, throw the Texas rig. That's why they named it that. So, this is a beautiful evening slash afternoon. Loads, I'm not gonna lie, that frog is pretty good, man. So that frog looks pretty dope. I'm just hoping to get lucky around some of this scum. I was about to say that looks like potential. I'm, you actually kind of got me nervous doing that. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, got him. Giant, giant Ryan. Giant Ryan. Holy cow. She's pulling hard. Oh my gosh, Ryan. Ryan, you just, dude, just put the camera down. Frick the, frick, frick the video, dude. We got a giant on. Ryan, put the camera down. I'm fine. I'll do it myself, Ryan. I know you work for a load. Oh, he's pulling me in the brush. No. Dude, it's, it's an actual tank. Ryan, am I rod and reel is in the freaking net, dude. Dude, Ryan, I'm freaking out. I'm not tournament ready, Ryan. Ryan, I'm freaking the freak out my net. No, no, Ryan, he's in the brush, Ryan. Ryan, it's a giant, man. It's a unit, Ryan. Ryan, he's pulling that way. Ryan, 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 wow, wow. Hey there, buddy. Hey there, buddy. How you doing down there, little buddy? Dang, boy. I'll tell you what, Lojo. I'll flip my little uh, trench hog right up there in that brush. I'll say a pop pop. He said, yoink. Doinked me. Took me 40 yards down left field. You know, he ran a slant route right through all the structure. Man, I'm good at my job, man. It's, it's tough. It's not that big, dude. Don't worry. It's really only like seven. I don't know why I'm still whispering. <laughs> That's an absolute giant baby. Look at her, dude. She's stocky too. That's pretty good. I'm gonna get one reway on her just to see, cause this scale, I, I don't even trust it. I'd rather, I trust my eyes more than I trust the scale. Every time I weigh the fish, it has a different, see it says 0.11 kilograms. What do you think that is, Ryan? That might be seven and a half, eight. That's a big fish, dude. Seven and a half, eight? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Whew. All right, we're gonna let her go. That's the thing. There's so many big fish in here, guys, and I've seen Lojo catch some big ones. He's acting kind of confident, so I know he's got some big bass in the boat, so I gotta keep on fishing. I don't think I'm safe even with some eight pounders. See you, buddy. Oh, I should've got a picture. Stay on, no! Should've got an Instagram picture, oh well. 
We'll just have to catch another one, am I right? You're right, man. All right, let's get back over there, man. Let's do this thing. That was good, dude. Check the line real quick. Ryan, there's water all over the camera. That was fun, man. Oh, Loja's got a good one. Loja's got to go into. Guys, this challenge, even though we're doing good, you know, I definitely think we're in the lead, but Lojo's still catching fish and we got hours out here. So, dude, I genuinely think we could maybe even touch 40. If we catch four more like that, oh, yeah. we could touch a 40 pound bag, guys. This might be one of the biggest bags on fishing YouTube as long as I keep fishing right. This is pretty nuts, man. This is pretty nuts. I feel like I'm about to get ruined in here. Like, I feel dangerous right now. Oh, look at all that bait move. I knew it was gonna happen, man. I knew there it was too good to be true, and he didn't, I never even felt him bite it. He was just swimming. That might've been a giant. So he just jumped out over there. Frick. Dude, I just, I felt that lane. I felt the, wow. All right. I'm dialed back in, man. I'm not letting it happen again. I saw all this bait move before I even felt the bite. I just saw a ton of bait come up. It's like, that's crazy. That probably means that there's a bass somewhere around here. And then my line is taken off into another brush pile. That was so quick. It was like, I had like one second to react. You know, I'm happy they do that. Yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> that was dope, man not going to help the cause but it's just nothing beats a flipping bite guys i know every single way of fishing like every bite it's kind of fun but a flipping bite takes the cake for me that and a big jig bite those two top water crankbaits are fun oh. everything's fun <laughs> here she is thank you girl wow you saw it too you saw how it looked like it was falling for longer that's crazy we flipped here flipped here flipped here then flipped there and then there he is. And we're, they're all, you know, very close range flips. Just fun way to fish. Dude, I, I, there's, I don't think there's any more fun way to fish than flipping into wood like this. Maybe it's just because I'm from Florida I don't get to do it all the time, but this is just, you know, it's like you, it just happens as you're, <laughs> glide baits are fun too, but this is like, you, if you get on a bite like this too, you get on a consistent bite. Like obviously a glide bait bite is amazing, but this is like, you can get bit a lot doing this and it's like really fun as well. Yep, we are just knocked down their front door and their kitchen table. Just ruined it. Dude, there's brush all down here too. It looks open. Look at that lane. That's the bass's house right there. Come on. I know you're I know you're there. Just eat. Just eat it. I know you hungry. I know you're hungry. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a giant, dude. Giant. Dude. I knew he was home. I knew you were home. Wow, dude, that was amazing. That's probably another six, seven pounder. Maybe even eight. <laughs> oh my gosh, Ryan, Ryan, we might have won this thing, man. We might have won this thing, man. Holy cow. That's a freaking eight pounder, baby. Let's go. That's the biggest one yet, bro. Holy cow. Dude, that might even be nine. That might be a nine pounder. Holy cow. Don't know if you guys can tell. Look, she's blind in this eye. That's crazy. Wow. That's an old, old fish, man. Has a little bit of red, but a dark bass. You can just tell by the way she looks. She's a little weathered. <sighs> Giant, man. Put weight on her. Yeah, Lojo, I'm sorry, man, but you gotta. I know he's been catching some bigs. We're still got a lot of time, though, so you might just have to do. You know, a little bit better. <laughs> catch, a, catch a few of these guys. We don't even know where Lojo went, guys. He went to a different side of the lake. The scale can't even hold them. That's so how you know it's kind of good. 3.27. 3.27 kilos. Dude, that's a big fish. That is a giant. We're going to get some pictures here. And, uh, yeah, let her go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here she is. <sighs> don't even know what to say. Just a beautiful bass, beautiful Texas giant. I don't even know how much I trust this Berkeley scale. This thing's a piece of garbage. <laughs> that is just eight pounds all day to me, at least. Me and Ryan have both agreed. But it said 3.2, and then it said 3.2 it said three point two kilograms, and it said 3.4. Uh, it doesn't know what it wants to say, but that is a absolute eight pounder. Trophy largemouth bass. But we're gonna let her go so she can go make babies. You go, girl. Oh, my bad. 
Yep. There she goes, dude. Fitch bump, man. That was Let's go. Monster, yep. Dude, I was saying too, I knew that that bass had friends in there. Knew she had friends, so I think we I think we go knock again. You think so? Definitely. Yeah, you think her maybe maybe her sister's in town or something like for the holidays? Yeah, or funny. fat uncle. That's what we need. Uh, yeah, we need. <laughs> Hopefully, it's Christmas time. Santa Claus is over. Dude, I literally was talking about it as it happened yeah. too. I was like, this little thing, you could tell by the way the sticks were set up. That yeah, kind of that yeah, curve yeah. and it's like a big fish could swim up in here and feel protected yeah. like it just i don't know when i look at these sticks man i think of what is a fish thinking when they're swimming through them and where do they want to where do they want to live i look here and i see this is a home right here in between all these sticks this little open lane um see that is a home obviously the lane i just caught one in is a home this whole open area too that's a home that's where the big girls hang out man i snarks out here too and they just got a giant over there right where we actually caught our first one. Yep. Oh my, oh, you saw that? I was a weak hook set, man. He, I, I wasn't expecting him to bite me right there. It's another probably seven, eight pounder. You saw the side of him? Yeah, I, I, but that stick was in my way. Dude, that is so many big fish right here. Well guys, Lojo has disappeared to the other side of the lake. So A, that means he's smoking him over there. Or B, that means that we're smoking him over here. Or C, we're both just like neck and neck. You know, I just don't know. It's just so fun about these, this competition is normally we call each other, see what's up, you know, give some banter, but in this, it's just only my point of view. So I'm just so blind as to what he's doing. So that's why I'm so excited to go watch his video after this. Ryan, do you, th you think he, he could? I mean, it's, it's a good lake, he could. You don't think so? I don't think so. We're having a day, man, but he had a day yesterday. If, if it was his day yesterday versus me today, we would be pretty close, like tied up. Like we got a couple of eights. Got him pinned. <sighs> no, he's not that big. Won't help the cause. But always fun. Always fun. Dude, it's so like crazy the way they eat it. Gets down there, you just watch the line fall and then you just see it start running. Don't even feel the bites, it's nuts. You just set the hook and they're there. I caught two big ones out of there and missed three. I hooked another eight pounder right next to the boat and he came off. I get half points if you catch them. Not too bad, man. He took off like a giant. There we go. That's a deal. You catch an eight, you gotta plug my code. All right, you can't, and if you catch an eight, I'll plug whatever in my video i'll make everybody go subscribe it'll give everybody a dollar who goes subscribes to your youtube channel well guys if snark catches an eight pounder we're just kind of here on the same side of the lake now he said if he catches an eight pounder he's going to give one of you guys a hundred dollar giveaway here if you use code norm on geekandsquad.com which by the way is what we're using just all the trench hogs uh the hooks and the weights are all googan the rod isn't but you know it can't be all googan you know me, you know me. Guys, I'm using a different rod because Ryan kind of took my muscle rod and threw it through the trolling motor. So I lost my gookin rod, so I have to or use- Or Norm broke it off and then left it there. I broke off my lure, the line was out. The rod got sucked into the trolling motor. The muscle rods are strong, but when it comes up against a titanium trolling motor, uh, the trolling motor did win that battle. Might get that spinner bait. You see this bait moving? It's getting that time of yeah. day, guys, where this bait. It's moving up. We don't see any bass blowing up on them, but where the bait is, the bass are not too far behind. Got him. That was pretty nuts. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Oh, quick release. Let them go, let them grow, baby. All right, guys, we're making a bait switch up. We got a spinner bait on here. We're in some shallow water. We're eventually gonna go back to the trench hog once we get back out to the point where we started the day. But um, I figured, you know, we see bait up in here. We'll give it, I don't know, 10, 15 casts. Nah, that's not fair. Probably like 25. And uh, if that doesn't work, we'll switch it up and uh, go back to all reliable. But I figure we just try to 
catch fish on something else for you guys. Oh my gosh, they are in the pads. Yeah. <laughs> Spinnerbait time, baby. Yeah, let's work where that fish just blew up. Yeah. Oh, this thing looks good. That's a cool bait, man. Is he okay? I hope he knows I was trash talking as a joke. Got him. There we go. On the spinner bait, man. Might be a big one. <laughs> what a cool bite, man. They are up shallow. Oh, no, it's not. He's just up shallow feeding. You saw that wake, though? It did not look like a giant. Wow. That had me fooled. Just another two pounder. Oh! Every time. Wow. That was pretty cool, though, man. The way he waked it. That was one of the coolest seats of the day. Awesome. Chunky guy. Feeding up on bait. See you, buddy. Thank you. Dude, good stuff, man. Good stuff. It's been a fun day. Fun couple hours. We're, guys, we have lost Lojo on the lake. I don't know if he's back in he's caught a massive bag or oh look at that wake look at that wake look at that wake ryan oh, my oh i got grass on it no you're kidding that's the worst time to get grass on you saw how big that wake was but well, anyways you're gonna move up this that, that's where i had like the nine yesterday and then we'll go back around this cove and fish the rest of that just till night night time yep. you thinking going around this way that means yes all right let's go this way <laughs> let's go that way you think a spinner bait's good for over there no, nah, not really. It's just like another thing like where, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Keep her on. <sighs> not the eight. <laughs> nope. But still fun. And maybe his mom's in there. You think? Mm -hmm. She might be. Is your mom home? You gotta talk to her. You've been breaking some rules. Sorry, man, but your kid's been throwing toilet paper on my lawn. Might have to have a talk with you real quick. <laughs>